One of my go-to passages is in Romans chapter 5, verses 1 to 5. Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith into this grace in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance, and perseverance character, and character hope. Now hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. I was meditating on this um, before prayer and was brought back to Ephesians chapter 5, verses 20 to 21. I read verse 22 the other day with 21. Um, but let's look at verse 20 of Ephesians chapter 5, verse 20 and 21. Giving thanks always for all things to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ submitting to one another in the fear of God amen and then goes on to say wives submit to your own husbands as to the Lord and verse uh, 22 amen hope does not disappoint I love how in prayer the Lord reveals things to us and he brings us to passages that we never saw in a certain way. I've never looked at these two passages together, Ephesians 5, tw verse 20 to 22, and uh, Romans 5, verses 1 to 5. I've never looked at them together, um, but... As I was praying yesterday, that in the hardest thing, I believe, as believers, is for us to submit to one another. When we, um, we don't want to submit, many of us, I've learned that there is so much beauty in submission. Submission is an act of worship to God. When we submit to one another, and first of when we submit to God, we show God that we love and worship him. And when we follow his commandments, we show that we love and worship him. And his commandment to submit to one another and for wives to submit to their husbands. But the resistance I see is when we don't trust that it's in the Lord's hands. Now, when we submit and we ask God to take control of everything, then it's a lot easier to submit. And so as I was praying that um, that God would increase the knowledge of the church of this hope that we have. And, you know, for a person like myself that I can get anxious about things, and I know I'm, I'm told not to be anxious about anything, but let um, everything be known. Let us pray and in all supplication and prayer just bring it unto the lord um but god he gives us revelation and i'm so thankful for that he's given us so many gifts that we can uh through his word by the holy spirit he reveals things to us of what is to come this hope that doesn't disappoint imagine being in a trial Maybe the trial is that we have to submit to someone or something that we don't agree with. But when the Lord reveals to us the purpose of the trial, that hope doesn't disappoint because the love of God is poured on out into us, into our hearts by the Holy Spirit. And so my prayer today is that God would reveal to us his plan. He would reveal to us his plan that we would see the hope in the end. We would see the light at the end of the tunnel in every circumstance. Oh, if the, if something goes this way and I don't agree with, 
this is what could happen. Oh, something goes that way and I don't agree with, that is what can happen. And all will happen to glorify God in the end. And so my prayer is that God is glorified in our trials and that God is glorified in our worship and God is glorified in our love for him and our love for one another. And so I pray that the love of God gets poured in your hearts to the fullness that it can, that it would overflow in love and that you would do exactly what God has called you to do at this very moment. In Jesus' name, I love you.